The number one question that I got when I first introduced face shaving or dermaplaning on my channel is, am I gonna grow a beard? Am I gonna get a mustache? Is my hair gonna come back thicker? Is it gonna come back coarser? Is it gonna come back darker? I can say no to all of those. And I'm gonna do just a little bit explaining to you guys. Hi, YouTube family. Hope that you enjoyed that weird thumbnail that I had up. But I really wanted to kind of express that this is a thing for women, but it's not something to be worried about as far as the hair on our face coming back looking like a man's beard or mustache. So first let's talk about, is it gonna come back darker? The answer to that is no. I do have some black hairs from whatever, for whatever reason, hormones, whatever. I have one right here, I have a couple right here, and I have one on each side of my lip right there. And no, those do not come back darker. They come back the same color. The rest of my face is kind of just peach fuzz that's blonde. And so no, it doesn't come back darker. I've not had anything change colors or anything like that. So definitely will not come back darker. Is it gonna come back coarser? This one will trick you and I'll tell you why. It's not gonna come back coarser, but what happens is when we do grow a hair, the hair will come out of the follicle in like a tip like thing. And so that comes out and it's finer there on the tip. But when we cut our hair, or you know shave our face what happens is that gets blunt cut across and then what ha what comes out is that blunt hair it's not going to come out with that fine tip that i was just talking about so you're going to feel like it might be a little bit coarser for a couple of days but it's definitely not it's the same exact hair it's just been kind of blunt cut if that makes sense to you i hope it does now will it come back coarser no as it grows out, it's going to be the same exact hair you had before. So if you are darker complected and you do have darker hairs around your face, that will come back that same exact color. And if you have just the blonde, you know, fine hairs, peach fuzz hairs, that's what color it's gonna come back. So don't be afraid of that. I've had so many people ask me that over and over again. Now this can also be a really good exfoliating tool, but I want to caution you very much to not scrape and scrape and scrape on your skin. It's just a big no-no. You'll have really sensitive skin for a while if you do that and you don't want to get a bad taste in your mouth about face shaving. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing these quick tutorials from me. We're gonna get into the face shaving right now, but if you have any more comments, please list them below and I will make sure that I answer everybody's comments. Let's get into shaving our face right now. Okay, you guys, super duper close. So I keep my alcohol in a spray spray bottle, um, just one that I picked up at Walmart because I do a lot of derma rolling. And this I want you to spray with alcohol to get it completely clean because you don't want to introduce any bacteria, especially if you have um, acne prone skin or pimple prone skin, that can be really bad. Once that's dry, you're gonna start, I always start back here in kind of almost to my hairline and I like to do across my cheeks. Now. Someone asked me, am I doing it wrong when I'm getting, she feels like she's getting um, like ingrown hairs where it doesn't pop back through the skin and stuff. I would say that that is probably because you're going against the grain like this. Now I've heard a lot of people say to do that and it lasts a lot longer. But one of the things that I have learned is that if I go like that, what's gonna happen is it will cut a lot tighter on the little baby hairs. But what's also gonna happen is it's gonna kind of irritate the skin a little bit. So as that hair's growing out, it might have a harder time. That's just what I have found. Um, I find that going with the grain of the hair, that it kind of cuts the hair like at an angle type thing. So, you know, if you were to cut the hair normal, you'd have hair cut like this. Whereas if what I'm doing, I'm kind of getting it like that. Does that make sense to you guys where I'm going on an angle um, instead of going straight up like a guy would shave his beard? So let's just start. What you wanna do is hold this skin pretty taut if your skin is you know moves around a lot mine does up in this area and of course the lips and stuff and down here on the neck so anywhere that your skin is not taut enough or it's loose you want to pull it like this now i have a little viewfinder right here and that's what i'm going to be doing this in today so i'm just going to pull my skin like this and i'm just going to start here at the top and i'm just going to use this at about a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna just come down. 
And then in between, I just take a little towel and I rub it off. And I'm going to try and keep that so that you guys can see it at the end. Might not be able to, but I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm not using both hands because I need to use a mirror over here. But you make sure that your skin is pulled tight like I showed you. So again, I'm just coming towards the chin. I do little stroke motions instead of going all at once. I find that if I do that, I get a little bit better exfoliation right here. So when you get up here, because the skin, again, is not very tight, so you're gonna pull that skin apart and you're gonna just go down and I will go all the way down there. And again, I don't know, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see this, but there's a lot of dead skin and stuff coming off. Now, I did cleanse my skin very well this morning and I did not put any moisturizers or anything on it at all. Don't go over it too many times. You really should only have to go over it once. Now, if you wanna go back here in the hairline a little bit further, you can. So now I'm gonna pan the camera down just a little bit and I don't come all the way down like into this loose skin and the wrinkles. I don't do that. I just do where I know I have a little bit of a struggle with some extra dark hairs down there. And yes, there's a little cluster of them that just make me crazy right there. <laughs> Drives me nuts. So I will go both ways on that one. All right, and then when you get around to your chin, just make sure that you're going slow. If you go slow, you're gonna have less of a tendency to cut yourself. And try not to talk, I'm talking and I shouldn't be. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just small motions towards the, the corner of the mouth there. This blade that I've used, I've used it about through, this is probably my third time. So I'm going to probably throw this out next time because I need my blades to be really sharp so that they can take that peach fuzz off without, um, you know, without irritation. Now, when I go across my chin, what I wanna do is just really carefully go all the way across it and go down because see this is where my kind of double chin type thing starts right here so i don't want to cut myself in there and again just trying to go as much with the grain of the hair as possible obviously your hair kind of grows down on your face so i just do it that way so that i don't get any ingrown hairs or any extra irritation from this. So I'm gonna be quiet while I do this area right here, but I'm gonna pull my lip down and I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, now I feel like my face is done, my chin is done, it's just really soft, it's really smooth. But I get a lot of baby hairs right here in between my eyes, so I am going to do that a little bit. And what I do is I start at this brow right here, and I just go in a kind of a diagonal towards this brow so that I don't take any extra hair that I don't want to. And then again this side, and then if you want to, just very carefully go towards your eyebrow and get real close. My hands are shaky, so I stay away from mine a little bit and just pluck there. And a lot of people use these for this eyebrow area right here. I will use it a little bit, but I don't go across like that because my skin is way too loose on my eye right there. So I raise my eyebrows as far as I can, and I just go under there and just, I'm doing it ever so gently because I don't want to irritate the eye or cut the eye. And then right up here above my eyebrow, I just trace along where my eyebrow line is, my natural eyebrow line. And then again on the other side. And then to get right here in between the eyes, yeah, I will go and I will just press against the nose so that I'm not slipping and going toward the eye at all. This is really careful work, so take your time. There's no need to rush. All right, let me just pan this back a little bit. I 
love the feel of how soft my face gets after this because you're bringing up dead skin and all of that peach fuzz and I have certain hairs that get stiff. Um, I don't have them all over, but I have like, you know, a four or five that get stiff on my chin. So I would really caution you to try very hard not to go over and over and over your skin. One pass if you can because I find that if I do more than that, my skin's gonna get really irritated. I don't have super sensitive skin, but this does do that top layer exfoliation, top layer or two of skin exfoliation. So I would really caution you not to do this too much. So that is it, my face is super smooth. Now I get to go put on all of my skincare products. Like I said, make sure your razor is very sharp. You don't wanna use these too much. Like in, when I'm in the shower, I can use my razor in the shower for a long time, but these are just like, I don't know, three, four times of use because you want it to be really sharp so it can do, you know, scrape away that top layer of skin, the hair in one swipe instead of having to go across it a couple of times. Let me know you guys what you think of shaving your face and what you think about doing that. It's something that I've been doing for almost a year now and I really do like how my makeup turns out and it's so smooth afterwards. It takes away any of those baby fine hairs that kind of get in the way as you're putting on foundation. So I feel like it really does help give a flawless canvas there. Please give this video that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Hope you all are doing okay. Please take care of yourselves. Love you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.